We did some experimentation. We tried some different types of tape to see what worked best and we also tried some variation on placement. We tried taping above the ankle and you can see it, it doesn't really do a whole lot for bringing the feet underneath the body, which is what we're aiming for. We also tried taping above and below the ankle, but not enough range of motion. The kitten just rolled over on her back like a turtle. First thing you'll need is this Next Care tape. It's stretchy, it's sticky, it works really well, works better than any of the other tapes that we tried. Then you'll need a rug or something grippy so that the kitten can get their feet up underneath them. They definitely need some traction. Slippy floors don't work. First thing you want to do is cut your next care tape into a strip about half an inch wide. The tape's about an inch wide, so cutting it in half allows them some flexibility to move their feet around. You're also going to want about uh, six or seven inches length of tape. Then you just tape their feet. So you, you want to leave a gap in between, probably about the width of their body. Um, in the beginning, you may want to leave it a little wider, although it leaves their feet splayed out still. Otherwise, they're not really going to accept the tape and they're not going to walk. And the most important thing is that you want them to walk with the tape and develop some good habits and some good posture. As they get used to the tape, you know, every day or every couple of days, you can, you can bring it in until it's the width of their body and they're really getting their feet up underneath them. When they first start out on the tape, it's going to be tough. They're not going to really know what to do and it's a good idea to leave that tape a little bit looser to, to give them a chance to figure things out. After a while though, they figure it out. You can see here, um, just slowing down a little bit, getting those feet underneath and uh, off she goes. This is little Aster. Remember, she was the one with the, the worst condition, but uh, here she is, giving it a try. This is Harrison. He was the second worst of the batch, but he just did not accept the tape. Uh, we put the tape on body width and he would just roll over on his back and just kind of flail away. Wouldn't even try to walk. So we started out with the tape pretty wide. You can see his feet are still splayed out pretty good. Uh, we just wanted to get him used to the idea of there being tape on his feet. And uh, he had it at this width for a couple days before we began tightening it up and tightening it up over time. Even with the tape this wide though, you can see he's developing some, some good mm -hmm. habits, getting those feet up close to underneath his body and getting his butt up in the air. And here's little Cody, he's just getting used to it, slowing down a little bit so that he can get his feet underneath them and you can see butt up in the air, which is exactly what we want. They believe the syndrome is caused by ligaments in the legs that haven't quite developed. They're still too loose and they haven't brought the feet underneath them naturally. So you have to reinforce that habit with some physical therapy. Every chance you get, make those feet go straight, kind of get them used to that sort of activity and also kind of keep things loose. Remember, they're all bandaged up and you want to make sure that their uh, legs are still nice and flexible. Like everything else, they get used to it, and how freaking cute is that? <laughs>